stop eating for five days. Let's talk about the surprising benefits of prolonged fasting in this video. Guys, could not eating for five days actually be good for you? It sounds crazy, but science actually shows that prolonged water fasting, five days of just plain water and some small tricks which I will reveal in that video, can unlock remarkable health benefits. Weight loss is just the tip of the iceberg. I can promise you this is not even what we want to focus on today. Imagine supercharging your body's healing, less inflammation, stronger immune system, starving cancer cells, you heard me right, and much, much more. We will get into it and I will reveal everything to you. Extended fasting basically gives your body a full heart reset that short intermittent fasting just simply can't match. You heard about intermittent fasting. This is different. It's like intermittent fasting on steroids with extra benefits that only kick in after a few days. And I will reveal the benefits and step by step how to do it easily and get all of these benefits. The last benefit I will mention, maybe the most surprising yet, the most powerful by far and at the end i'll share how to do a multi-day fast safely with the timing the type of hydration electrolytes everything you need to know so you can put this into practice first of all let's talk about the science back benefits of a five-day water fast you of course have rapid weight loss and metabolic reset a multi-day fast forces your body to actually burn fat for energy for your fuel one review found that five to twenty day water fast can make you lose about two to ten percent of your body weight i personally did multiple two three day five day seven day and even one time ten day water fast not telling you to go out there and to do ten day i'm at this point kind of professional with it but three days five days with watching that video, with doing your own research, with doing it properly, consulting maybe a healthcare professional for that, I think that might be a good idea. Let's go straight into it. Insulin levels also plummet as you burn fat, improving your blood sugar control. Fasting triggers a surge in human growth hormone. People are asking me, Chris, how were you able to build this muscle? I mean, you, you can't really see it here through the hoodie. But yeah, I think that uh, things like sauna, the correct diet, but also fasting actually helped me. One trial actually saw a 7x increase of human growth hormone after 24 hours, which helps preserve muscle actually while you're burning fat right? That is quite crazy. People are injecting that stuff. You can just let your body produce it. How beautiful is that? Another one is, of course, lower inflammation and immune rejuvenation. Prolonged fasting can dial down inflammation and even reboot your immune system. In rheumatoid arthritis patients, just a week of water-only fasting may pain and joint swelling plummet. I myself had big digestion problems back in the days from wrong antibiotic use to much antibiotic use and all these horrible things and mistakes I made in the past. I actually got joint inflammation myself and pain and many more things we don't have to get into here but I can tell you one thing no matter how bad it was when I went on a five-day water fast everything was put down back to zero and I felt like a freaking hero. Fasting also cues a spring cleaning of your immune cells. A three-day water fast tells your body to clear out old immune cells and regenerate new ones when you refeed afterwards. The result is a revitalizing immune system ready to fight disease. You probably see how excited I am about that topic. It really comes from the deep inside of myself because it was helping myself so much. It is incredible, guys. 
cellular cleanup and longevity. When you stop eating, your cells switch on autophagy, a repair process that clears out cellular junk and recycles damaged components. A prolonged fast supercharges this anti-aging process and also lowers growth signals like insulin-like growth factor IGF-1, a hormone linked to aging and cancer. These changes rejuvenate your cells and may even slow aging and extend lifespan. And just on a side note, you can see here I have the Bible and Jesus. No matter if you go into Christianity, which I, I count myself to, or into Islam, these religions, they are talking about the incredible benefits of fasting. Jesus himself fasted 40 days in the desert for a very good reason. Let's go on to the next one. You have enhanced enhanced cancer defense. Fasting creates an internal environment that's so hostile to the big C. After two to three days, your body runs on ketones, which is fat fuel, instead of glucose. Most normal cells can use ketones, but many C cells can't. So they starve while healthy cells are actually adapting. Plus, fasting boosts your immune surveillance. A 2024 study in mice actually showed fasting made natural killer cells much more effective at killing C cells, the big C. You know what I'm talking about, right? Tips and tricks for a successful five-day water fast. That's what you might be asking. Well, let's talk about it. First of all, a disclaimer, of course. Prolonged fasting, whether it's three days, five days, seven days, ten days, it's not for everyone. It's for most people, but it's not for everyone. That is just what I want to say. If you have any medical conditions or you are pregnant, consult a doctor first. If you're ready and cleared to try it, here are some tips to maximize the benefits and stay safe. First of all, also, if you are a man, we are men, we are going through 24-hour hormone cycles, so for us it doesn't really matter what time of the month we are doing it. If you are a woman, you have a cycle and you should time it with your cycle, right? So fasting right at the period is maybe not the best idea. Do your own research for that or consult a healthcare professional, but um, as a woman specifically, it is still just as beneficial but you have to be more careful with the timing also so number one hydrate and prepare drink plenty of water and be sure to get your electrolytes in add a pinch of salt or use any completely flavorless electrolyte mixes to prevent dehydration and headaches and i am talking about completely flavorless so you take salt magnesium without fillers potassium without fillers, but salt should be the cornerstone. I, on the three days, five days, I basically do just salt, right? Put salt in the water and that's it. If you do 10, 20 days, yes, you have to think about other electrolytes also, of course. But salt is the most important one. Always remember, if you are sweating out one liter, you need one gram of sodium, right? So research how much sodium do you need per day. Add that to your water drink it. If you sweat, you need more. If you don't sweat, you just need that, what is recommended. Like, do a little bit of that work, right? But that is very important to keep in mind also. Ease in and out of your fast. That is very important. Don't start a long fast after a huge meal, especially not after a big carbohydrate-containing meal. It's going to make it very difficult for you. I was for a long time on a keto diet, on a, on a carnivore diet, so fasting for me was like walk in the park. I never get hungry. I just stop eating for five days, seven days, ten days, easy. But if you are on a high-carb diet, it is much more difficult, of course, right? So eat light for a day or two beforehand and then start the fast, right? When you break the fast, actually, after not eating three days or five Five days start with small and gentle foods like bone broth or fruit it depends on your diet right but not too glycemic fruits i personally like to just start with the bone broth first the second meal is bone broth a little bit of raw sauerkraut maybe a little bit of avocado a little bit of steamed meat lean meat or like a chicken broth with the with the chicken i cooked in the broth much more easy to digest stuff like this right especially a bone broth is usually a great way to start it it has glutamine it has collagen seals the gut prepares your digestion 
digestive system for reintroducing food back into your system and that's how you can actually avoid shocking that system right the timing matters as i said before for women of course the first half of your menstrual cycle day one of your period for example uh, up all the way up to ovulation is generally the best time to do an extended fast but again when I step back here, I'm not a doctor. Do your own research. That is, of course, very important. But as a woman, you have to be a little bit more careful. Try to avoid doing a five-day water fast right before your period. That is at least something up to my research. Again, make your own research. Since your body may be more sensitive to calorie restriction at that time, and you don't want to add too much stress at that time. So hormone balance is something quite important, especially as a woman throughout your cycles. Listen to your body always. Fasting is challenging, yes, I know, but it uh, shouldn't be unbearable. It's normal to feel hungry or low energy maybe on day two. Even I had that before, even though it's always quite easy for me. Um, but by day three, you should really feel a burst of clear-headed energy. You should feel very good on day three. You should feel excellent on day four. You should feel completely painless and amazing as you could be flying on day five that it's almost sad you have to start eating again. That is what you should be prepared for. But day one and two is usually not that easy, right? But it should not be unbearable. Light activities like walking or yoga, quite fine, right? But you should avoid intense exercise. Um, something I actually like to do sometimes, but it's not a good idea and I will not do it in the future. If you feel dizzy or very, very unwell at any point, don't force it, right? Break the fast, rehydrate, it's okay, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. If you do everything properly, that shouldn't happen, but really, like, don't have your ego in your way to health, right? Safety first. By understanding the science back benefits, and following these tips, you can confidently harness the power of a five-day water fast to rejuvenate your body done correctly. It can be a powerful reset for your health. Just remember to fast responsibly always. Let me know what you think about that. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I have another insane longevity focused video popping up right here you should subscribe right there like this video and as always guys as always bye bye